Android 2.2.1 update, new Droid Gmail, and more. Hey, did you just get your update for your Droid phone? I just got mine, and this video will tell you what just changed on your Android phone. And somewhere near the end, we give you a great tip so that you can get the best part of this update even before it's released for your phone. On December 9th, 2010, Google released a new release of Gmail for Android phones. Then, the very next day, they released an update for Android Operating System 2.2.1, for certain droid phones. This is still known as Froyo, but this update has some very noticeable enhancements. They updated some widgets you might use, like Twitter. It has new authentication support. I think that means it's more secure. They updated the Amazon widget, as well as the news and weather widget. Nerd alert, but don't worry, it only lasts seven seconds. Then they made some improvements to Microsoft Exchange Active Sync. They fixed some inactivity timeouts, fixed some sync issues, and added support for Exchange 2010 connections. Man, that got kind of nerdy, but it might be helpful for some of you. These are all good and all, but to me, the big change is what they did with Gmail. Before we go into the details of what changed there, let's take a look at what you first saw when you started up with your new Gmail, just in case you deleted it. Now you can go back and look at that again if you like, but we're going to cover it in detail, so hold on, here we go. You can now prioritize your emails, like putting a filter on them to help you sort through them better. To do this, Google added a thing called Priority Inbox, which some of you may have already been using on your desktop, which is required. On your Droid phone, this allows you to change your settings so that the email alert you use only happen for the more important emails. The next big category of change affects what is known as the From address. If you've set up your Gmail to allow you to send from various email addresses, this makes it super easy to do that when emailing from your phone. More on that later. Another handy change is the ability to reply all or forward from more places in the program, even while you're writing your email now. The last big category of change deals with an enhanced ability to reply in line with an existing message. This makes it easy to address questions and the like right in the midst of the original text. Okay, now that may be enough for some of you, but if you want to see these new changes in action, keep watching. And don't forget the extra tip near the end. If you're done for now, go visit our website for other handy tutorials. It's called usemydroid.com. Now, let's get to it. Let's see these changes in action. On to Gmail on your Droid phone. Launch Gmail like you normally do, Messages you've read already have a gray background. Unread ones have a white background. But here's something new. Little yellow markers. These messages are what Gmail has tagged as important with a new thing for your phone called Priority Inbox. The Priority Inbox helps you filter your email. This system learns by watching what you consider more important versus less important email. To turn on the Priority Inbox setting, be sure that you are in Gmail, then select your menu button, and up pops a menu. Select more, then settings, and you should see a new choice called Priority Inbox. Go ahead and select it, and when you return to your normal Gmail view, the upper left should say Priority Inbox. Cool. Next, we'll take a look at the Enhanced Reply All options. If I go to read a message like I normally do, and I press the arrow to reply to that email, this is what I see. Notice the new options up top. We're going to come back to those in a moment. So I start typing my reply, and then I realize, man, I really wanted to reply all to this message. Before, I had to start over. But now, check this out. By pressing on the arrow next to the word Reply, I can still be composing my reply, but now I can change my mind and reply all, forward, or just keep on going. That's a relief. So, that was the reply all improvement. Next comes the ability to select your from address. If you've set up your Gmail account to be able to send from multiple addresses, then you'll love this new feature for Gmail on your Droid phone. Press anywhere on the from email address area up top and up pops a list of addresses that you are authorized to choose as your from address. That was fun, wasn't it, guys? Okay, on to the next enhancement for the Gmail app on the Droid phone. It's the ability to reply in line. There are times when you want to reply to an email and have your reply text right in the middle of the original message. This is what's called an inline reply. Scroll up a bit to get to the respond inline button. Press the button, then 
Press in the text area and add your text in line within the original body of the message. Okay, that was replying in line. Now, take a look up top where the flashy thing is flashing. Stop, stop, enough with the flashing. Gmail has replaced the words send and draft with icons. The one on the left is the envelope and arrow, it means send. The one on the right with the disk and clock, well, that means draft. I'll work on it later. All right, it's time for the Use My Droid Power Tip. If you have not received your 2.2.1 update yet, but you want the new Gmail app update, here's how to get it. As long as your phone is running Android 2.2 system or higher, it will work. As a real quick reminder, here's how to check to see what system your phone is running. Go to Menu, then Settings, then scroll to About Phone, and on the phone info screen, find Android version number. Remember, 2.2 or better is required. Then, scan this barcode to get the featured Gmail app onto your phone right now. For more helpful tips, tricks, and video tutorials on how to get the most out of your Droid phone, visit our website at usemydroid.com or search online for Use My Droid. <laughs>